I'm Sarah Sunshine, uh, and my hackathon project was Mousetrap. Um, so I wanted to build a product that would solve a real-world problem that I've encountered firsthand. Um, although, admittedly, it's a little bit of an esoteric problem, so I'll quickly walk you through some context. Um, can I get a show of hands? How many of you have worked in labs before? Did you have to work with mice? Anybody? Okay, so you know the pain firsthand. Um, so mouse studies are really important, particularly in drug development, because if you have a potential therapeutic compound, you can't just go straight to putting it in humans. You have to make sure it's not insanely toxic, or because um, clinical trials are so, exci uh, so expensive, um, you want to first make sure that it seems like it will probably work. So to do a mouse study requires a lot of mice. So to give you sort of a visual, this is a mouse room at an academic facility. You can see how many cages there are. Um, and in each cage, there are several mice, again, um, and the thing about mouse families is that they're really big. Uh, a mouse litter will have like 12 babies. Are they adorable? Um, and uh, the other sort of source of complexity here is that experiment designs can be um, very complicated with several different arms um, and different experimental conditions being tested in each arm. Uh, maybe different genetic backgrounds are needed for the mice that are enrolled in each arm. So it, it quickly gets out of hand. And, um, Scientists often are just kind of keeping track of all the mice and all the different studies like in their lab notebooks manually. So I wanted to um, build a software that would help scientists run mouse studies. Ta-da! <laughs> um, and so that uh, is where Mousetrap comes in. And so a quick disclaimer, no mice were harmed in the development of this app. Um, and if the idea of animal research bothers you, you can instead think of this project as a Facebook for mice. <laughs> So um, this is Mousetrap, and there's several different features. Uh, it was built using React and Redux uh, and Bootstrap on the front end, um, and Express, Node, um, and Postgres on the back end, um, as well as sockets. So first we have uh, the log of your colony, and this is the list of all the different mice that are currently alive and enrolled in experiments. Um, and some pertinent details about them. And you can click and see uh, each individual mouse and get a little bit more detail about them. And then here we have this button so that uh, the researchers can report when an animal has died. Uh, here's where the Facebook analogy starts to break down a bit. Um, and this is important because in a, you know, an experiment, you will probably want to compare the survival in a treated versus an untreated group. Um, so if we go ahead and report this animal as dead, RIP, ID number one mouse, um, it will be removed from the colony log and registered as deceased um, in the database. And so you can look at your experimental design. Right now we only have one experiment we're running that has four different arms. Um, and you, the scientists are able to delete arms or add them back on directly on the site. So if this is, uh, we want to add that back, let's have seven mice in there. Um, and so this is just you know, a really streamlined way for them to keep track of the experiment. Uh, so as those new big litters are born and they want to um, add new mice to the experiment, they can do so using this simple form, um, which there's this sort of algorithm on the back end that will look at the different arms in the experiment, uh, where mice are needed, what genotype of the mice are needed, um, and it will compute which uh, experimental arm the mouse should be added to and just let the researcher know they don't even have to think about it. Um, now say they um, go to add a mouse that there isn't a need for in the experiment right now, the algorithm can tell them um, that this animal is not needed, and since storing animals is very expensive, uh, given the sterile conditions needed, um, that this mouse should be pruned from the colony. Again, Facebook. <laughs> um, so then if the researchers want to know, um, you know how the study is progressing, what timelines uh, they can expect, we have sort of a a Gantt chart that shows how many for each arm, how many mice have been enrolled, how many are left, uh, and this gives them a sense of when they can expect to be finished with their studies. Um, and then they can even conduct ad hoc analyses of how the study is going. So this is a, what's called a Kaplan-Meier survival curve, and that shows um, over time how many of the mice in each group are live, uh, how long they're living. And so you can see here that. Um, the red line is the mice that haven't been treated. They're not living as long um, as the mice that have been treated, which is the purple line. So it does seem like the drug is providing some benefit. Um, so there's a, a several different ways to view the data. You can zoom in if you're uh, interested in a particular time frame. Um, and so this 
and the Gantt charts were built uh, using a great library called ReCharts. I spent a lot of time over the weekend struggling uh, trying to get D3 to work well with React, um, and I found that to be very painful. And D3 is such a powerful, customizable library, but sometimes it's maybe a little bit more than you need. Um, so I would really recommend ReCharts. Um, and then finally, since sometimes different labs need to collaborate uh, and be able to discuss how the experiment's going in real time, there's a little chat room that they can use. Um, so let's, this is using sockets. Another. So you can see that it tells you who's in the chat room. Um, you can change your username if you want to. And then you can type messages. And they'll sort of reflect. Um, so they can say, Um, and there's no limit to how many people can join. So um, that's Mousetrap. Uh, if I had more time to work on it, I would want to build um, maybe a mobile version of the site um, using React Native that researchers could use right on their phone. Uh, so when they, they go into the mouse colony rooms, um, they could use the app right there. I also um, would like to add a feature to help uh, design like the breeding uh, paradigms. Um, so it's producing the mice uh, and having them be the right genetic background is another complicated part of mouse studies. So there could be like a mouse love room or something like that. So um, that's my project. <laughs>